Hi everyone. Today I want to teach 7 CBSC science topic that is acids, bases and salts. In our daily life we used to eat lot many substances. Will they taste similarly? Definitely not. Why they taste uh, differently? Some are sweet, some are uh, bitter, some are salty, some are sweet. What is the reason behind it? The reason is simple that they are different in their chemical nature. The chemical nature of the substances will determine their taste. Okay, in today's uh, chapter we are going to read about the different types of substances based on their chemical nature that is acids, bases and salts. So, in today's uh, topic we are going to deal only about acids and bases. So, let us go to acids, right? What is an acid? The term acid is derived from a Latin word acid which means soap. The term acid is derived from a Latin word acid. Which word? Latin word acer. What is the meaning of acer? Sore. If we consider the substances like lemon juice, vinegar or curd, they are sore in taste. Why they are sore in taste? Because in these substances, some of the chemicals like Acids are present. That's why they are sore in taste. That's why these substances are said to be acidic in nature. Where, uh, where from this uh, word uh, acid derived from? Latin word acid which means sore. If we consider sore substances like lemon juice vinegar. They are sore in taste because they contain some acids in them. What are the acids that are present? in them and what are the different types of food components and different types of compounds we know and the acids that are present in them we are going to discuss it now and what is the acid present what is the substance as i told you the first one is vinegar what is the acid that is present in vinegar acetic acid is present in vinegar which acid is present? Acetic acid. If we consider citric acid. If we consider citric acid. In which citric acid is present? In citrus fruits like lemon, oranges. Citric acid is present. Okay. Then coming to next acid that is ascorbic acid or vitamin C which is present in, again in citrus fruits. Ascorbic acid which is nothing but vitamin C. It is also present in citrus fruits. The ant sting will contain an acid called as formic acid. That's why when ant bites us, we will feel itching sensation and the reddening of that area will occur because the ant sting when it bites, it will release an acid called as formic acid. Next, in our stomach, one acid is present which help in the digestion of food material. What is that acid? In, you, in your biology, you have read already, I think, the acid is hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Present in stomach, which helpful in the digestion of food material. And we can write some more acids like malic acid is present in apple, oxalic acid is present in tomato and spinach. Like that we can write some more acids. Malic acid, apple and grapes. Okay, malic acid is present in apples and grapes. Oxalic acid, oxalic 
मसाले कैसे दिस प्रेजेंटली स्पिनाच एंड टमाटो दैट्स वाई द ओल्डर जनरेशन पीपल यूज टू से डोंट मिक्स स्पिनाच विथ टमाटो बिकॉज बहुत आर हाई इन ऑक्सलिक एसिड कंटेंट दे विल लीड टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ क्रिस्टल्स इन किडनीज वाई the crystals in the kidneys that is nothing but stones in the kidneys are oxalate crystals if we mix spinach and tomato the concentration of oxalic acid will be more than oxalate crystals the content will be more and it is leading to the formation of concentrated crystals so they are advised not to use spinach and tomato at once right don't mix spinach and tomato for that reason okay like malic acid oxalic acid if we take tamarind tamarind contain an acid called as tartaric acid tartaric acid okay like if we consider tea tea contain an acid called as tannic acid tannic acid All these acids are considered as organic acids because they are from living origin. Why they are called as organic acids? Because they are of living origin. That's why these acids are considered as organic acids. And except hydrochloric acid, all these acids are weak acids. They will not cause any harm. This hydrochloric acid will act upon the Uh, will act upon the food what we have taken and it helps in the digestion and killing of the microorganisms whenever we are taking some food it may contain some microbes also so to kill those microbes this hydrochloric acid is helpful so so far we have studied about the common organic acids and the substances in which they contain hope you have understood what is acid acids are sour in taste because they contain acids in them from where this word acid derived from it is derived from a latin word acer which means sour right now we will discuss about bases have you any time observed baking soda have you any time tasted that if not once tasted you will feel that it is bitter in taste you will feel that it is bitter in taste and just rub that baking soda in between your fingers and rub that baking soda in between your fingers then you feel that it is soapy these kinds of chemical substances which are bitter in taste and soapy to touch are called as basic substances so what is the next topic in this chapter bases right so what are bases these are the chemical substances which are bitter in taste and soapy to touch okay these are the chemical substances which are bitter in taste and soapy to touch as we have seen that some of the common organic acids and the substances they contain and likewise some of the chemicals what we have what we are using in our daily life will also contain some bases in them for example if you take soap it may be a salt of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide it is a base 
soap is made up of the salt of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide are the bases so the soap is also basic in nature then if we take cleaning solutions like colin if you take what is the kind of substances that it possesses those window cleaning agents will contain a, ba a basic substance called as ammonium hydroxide a basic substance called as ammonium hydroxide just we will white wash the the walls right with lime water what is that lime water contains that lime water will contain a basic substance again that is calcium hydroxide likewise we also depend on some of the bases in our daily life we will write what are those milk of magnesia have you have any idea about milk of magnesia what is that milk of magnesia means that is used to combat acidity if anyone suffering from acidity then they are advised to have an antacid that antacid will contain a base called as milk of magnesia that is magnesium hydroxide these are the common bases right also we use baking soda it is also a common base what we are using generally in our daily life so this is the list of bases so i will write name of the bases and the substance in which it contains okay base and the substance in which it contain i told you na the salt of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide is nothing but soap as sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide are bases these soaps are said to be basic in nature sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide in soap they are present right if you take cleaning window cleaning solutions like colin if you take what is the base that contain ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide window cleaning solution we use some uh, lime water to white wash the walls okay that contain calcium hydroxide lime water likewise the milk of magnesia milk of magnesia will contain milk of magnesia will contain magnesium hydroxide which is used as an antacid magnesium hydroxide which is which is present in milk of magnesia which is used as an antacid milk of milk of magnesia so far we have studied about what are acids and what is the nature of the acid and what are the common acids that are present and bases what is the nature of the bases and what are the common bases in our daily life so in our next class we are going to uh, discuss about the indicators and how can we identify whether a substance is acid or base that we are going to discuss in the next class if you uh, if you understand this please like subscribe and comment the video below thank you all of you